Hey everybody, Ryan here coming at you with another video today. Today's video is going to be a movie review. And just before I start, I just want to say this video and all the reviews coming after it pretty much are all part of my top 250 favorite films series that I was going to do. I was going to do a big banner for the series and all that kind of stuff. And I decided just so I don't put pressure on myself too much, I'm just going to do these movie reviews and they're all part of that list and I'll have the top 250 in the in a playlist called top 250 favorite films. So yesterday I did um, <clears throat> the film High and Low and so today this film is going to be the next one on that list. So num film number 249 and I'm just going to go through the list and just do movie reviews for each of the films. And uh, I think it'll be fun to do it that way and not actually label the series my top 250 favorite film series. Because I would rather just you look at the video as the film itself and it's a review. So anyways, today we're going to be talking about a satire surrealist comedy, somewhat black comedy more like. <clears throat> and it's a film that I've loved for a very long time since I first saw it when this Criterion first came out doesn't have a Blu-ray yet, and today we're going to be talking about Luis Buñuel's The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie, today. Okay, well, yes, today we're talking about The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie. Sometimes I have a problem saying that, so from here on out in this video, I'm just going to call it The Discreet Charm. Um, this film came out in 1972, it's 101 minutes, and it has Fernando Rey, who is the villain in The French Connection, and a bunch of other great French actors. And um, basically, this movie is about a group of people who keep trying to get together for a meal, and they just can't seem to eat. They can't, they can't get around to it. Something comes up. And that's pretty much the plot of this film, uh, if you would like to even call that a plot. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start right here. So basically, a little backstory on Luis Buñuel is that he is a phenomenal surrealist filmmaker. He has done plenty of films that I could butcher the names, so I'm not going to say them. Um, I will, you guys will just have to put in his name. He's done so many famous films. A, um, he actually did one of the first surrealist films I ever saw, which he did with Salvador Dali, which is, uh, I forget how to do the pronunciation, but um, I think it's the Anchilean Dog. I think that's the English translation. I, I can't remember, but I think it's, um, yeah, he did a film with Salvador Dali, and I should have did a little bit more research of that before I filmed this video, but oh well. And it's famous for not making sense whatsoever. It's just a dreamlike film, famous for having a woman have her eyeball slit with a razor blade. Just a bunch of weirdness. And it is definitely one that you should see at least once. Uh, in terms of surrealism, I love that stuff. But for some reason, I don't really care for that film as much. It was definitely eye-opening, literally. And I like films like that that don't make sense. But the film didn't really didn't really grab me like other surrealist films like some of Benwell's other films and films like Eraserhead and other films by David Lynch like Inland Empire Lost Highway and other films I like by David Lynch but um Luis Benwell did another film called The Exterminating Angels as well which I'm pretty sure it came out before this and it's phenomenal as well that's basically where a group of people come together and they can't leave the room. They can't because of certain circumstances. I know it sounds crazy, but that's just how those kind of films work. Little things pop up. They just cannot leave the room. And that's the kind of the premise of that film. Now, this one, like I said, it's about a group of people who are, di they're, you know, rich people who they're all acquaintances. There's like a husband and wife. There's like an ambassador and all these political kind of figures. And it's just a, you know, a group of people that try to keep breaking, they want to keep um, trying to break bread together. Um, 
and there's like a, all these little subplots in it, but it's the statement that the film makes about how, you know, there's little things that happen in each of the scenarios that you see of them trying to eat dinner. And it's all about the hypocrisy that they, they stand for. Like, you know, they're, 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 they're rich folk, but there's certain things that they talk about that they're against, but they contradict themselves by their actions. And that's the kind of the statement that it makes. It's making a statement about, you know, that society and I mean, even the, the, the title, the discreet charm of the bourgeoisie, like, you know, it's talking about that class of people, the high class. And, um, you know, there's certain scenarios, like, you know, towards the beginning of the film, you have, they are going to meet up, and they're all walking along this long dirt road into the estate, I guess, that has the the people that they're having the, the, um, the film, or not the film, they're having their dinner at. And they get there, and they're like, hey, I'm so, so glad that, you know, we're here. And we're going to eat dinner together. And all of a sudden the person's like, yeah, but you weren't supposed to be here till tomorrow. And so then they don't eat because of that. Then they go to an inn that's down the road and they go to the inn and they're ordering everything. And all of a sudden they see that there's a funeral going on in the restaurant. And so then they're like, we don't want to be here. So it's like a bunch of scenarios like that. But as the film goes on, you start to sense that it's maybe losing a little bit of reality and you don't know what's real and what's not. And that's when the surrealism takes into effect. And um, it's just a brilliant, brilliant film. Not for everybody, of course, because some people are not into that kind of thing. But it definitely makes you chuckle because they keep putting each other in these, they keep putting themselves in these situations that are just like, can they just eat some dinner? And uh, so I highly recommend this film. It's really hard to get your hands on, though, because it's out of print. This DVD has been out of print for a while. Um, and Criterion doesn't have a Blu-ray out of it. They don't even sell the DVD. It's really expensive. So I highly recommend this film. And that's why in this series I don't really want to spoil anything unless I want to actually talk about spoilers. And I'll mention that in the video. But um, I think everybody should at least give these films a shot. I try not to talk about, you know, some films that I love that... Um, my opinion, all the films I love, I think everybody should watch. And I know you guys feel the same way. Films that you love, you think everybody should watch. Doesn't mean they have to like them. So, this is actually the film that got me more into surrealism in general. Um, you know, surrealist short films that you could find on YouTube. And I've always loved the films of David Lynch, but it even made me go even farther. You know, surrealist artwork in terms of, like, paintings and stuff and... I've really been big into it since, and it's always been one of my dreams. I actually have a script that I was going to do a few years ago, a little short film. I've always wanted to make a surrealist short. I'm still going to be doing it. I might do it this year. Who knows? But, um, yeah, so I highly recommend this film, The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie, a film by Luis Benuel from 1972, 101 minutes. And, um, yeah, so this film... 1972 Oscar winner for Best Foreign Film. And I guess when this Criterion DVD came out, it was the 100th anniversary of, well, it's the 100th birthday of Luis Benuel. So, basically, in Luis Benuel's deliciously satiric masterpiece, an upper-class sextet sits down to dinner but never eats. Their attempts continually thwarted by vaudevillian mixture of events both actual and imagined and then it talks about the um you know the cast and stuff i probably just butchered some of that stuff because i can't really see because i need to have my light kit set up because i can't the back has a shadow over it so anyways guys i highly recommend this film if you haven't seen it so that's going to be it this for, for this video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're enjoying these reviews this review series and i'll see you guys next time bye